play football, um, still box occasionally. Um, yeah, that's me. My, my background comes from football, first and foremost. I started playing football when I was about five years old, joined my first, uh, first side and then went on to then box as well. The fitness side of, side of that, um, I was doing probably from about 14, 15 years old, I started doing press ups, gyms and stuff at home um, from watching my dad do it. Uh, and then like, when I was about 18 after a game one day, I just was sitting there and thought, you know, where, where do I want to go? What, what do I want to do? And personal training jumped out. I said, I'd say I'm, a bit, I'm, I'm different to the stereo, stereotypical PT. I don't like barking orders. Um, I like a lot of feedback from, from my clients. I like to know that they're enjoying the session. I like to, like to know that they feel like they're going somewhere from it, rather than just you know, killing, almost killing people in sessions, which is a lot of what you would see on a, a movie or TV show, personal trainers. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess just the ability to be able to communicate is the most Im important thing. Um, be able to take criticism as well because you'll, you'll get quite a bit of that where people almost like, they have too high expectations almost and they'll try and expect to go from a tiny little guy to a massive hulk in the space of a year um, but you know be able to communicate with people and, and help them manage their own expectations and also to be able to teach you know it's, it's not all about just making that money and spending the time in that in that session with people and and working them in that session but also being able to almost be a life coach and teach them how to improve their own life and how they can manage their training once you're not there. I have since done some other courses and gone into the strength and conditioning side of things, uh, training athletes, um, basically that's where my passion is now, wanting to try and push people to uh, improve themselves in their sport because that's what I would want to do myself from, from the fitness point of view. Quite a lot of times doing this job where you, you know you realise you've actually made a difference to someone's life. And I said that's probably the best part about it. You know, I had, uh, probably the one of the best ones I had was a, a lady came to me. She uh, had been rejected for IVF treatment um, a, a few times. They told her to need to lose weight. She she tried a few times on her own. Tried with a couple of other PTs and never never quite got there. Bit um, down herself. Uh, convinced her to, to give it another go. Uh, I'd probably only done about 20 sessions with her um, before she, she moved on, she moved house. But the, because of the information I'd given her, she was then able to continue it herself. I just got a text message, I hadn't spoke to her for about a year, I got a text message from her, um, or a picture message, and it just had a picture of a scan photo and saying, like, thanks for all your help. And that was it, and that's probably, that was, that's one that the best best things about this job. Find me uh, on Twitter at Chris Rolat and also uh, I write a blog you can contact me through there uh, Chris Rolat Fitness My name's Chris Rolat and you're watching Sports Minds TV.